Hi everyone, it's Tina with TSR Creations. I'm really excited to be painting today. So, you see all this? All right, so I've been busy this morning mixing up paints and um, I, this is a commission um, for a large painting. It's a 24 by 48 inch canvas, gallery wrap canvas. Um, they saw a smaller piece. Um, I, actually, I have a video on it. And I'll link it here. You can go back and see that. And that's the inspiration for this piece. Um, they saw the smaller piece. They really love the colors and the, the movement of it. You know, and you know with this type of painting, you're not going to get the same thing twice. So I did prepare them for that, that it's not going to be exactly the same, but um, generally the same kind of feel. Um, and they were totally on board with that. So I'm going ahead and I'm going to do that today and with all of you guys. So I'm doing the pearl pour cell, the pour, yeah, the pearl pour method. Um, that is with satin enamel. So all my paints are mixed with satin enamel. Um, my base colors, I use, I'm using three different color bases, maybe four actually. Um, I forgot that I, I did a, like a light gray too. So I like using multiple different color base colors, so it's not all just one base, but they all have satin enamels in them. So I have my one base color is this satin enamel by DecoArt, and this is called Gray Taupe. So I put a little bit of that in there, and I also mixed in some white to get the sand color. So it is a beach-inspired pour. Again, I'll, you'll see the I'll put a picture of it of the uh, inspiration in the beginning of the video and also the link to the video that um, that creation video so you can see it um, but anyway so it's a beach inspired pour with grays and blues and turquoises um, but you know with the pearl cell pour your pour cell <laughs> my gosh I have a hard time saying that today the pearl cell pour you know that sometimes your colors will mute out a little bit so um, just you have to be prepared for that. So I have some brighter colors, but they will, you know, mute out a little bit. All right. So you saw the taupe. Then I have just a white, and that's the satin enamel, um, just white, pure white. Um, that is in here. I also actually put a little bare satin enamel in this one. Um, if you need the recipe I use, it will be listed in my description box. Um, but I use GAC. I use... Um, golden pouring medium, flow trawl, and a lot of water. So um, this other base color is just a light, uh, the white with a little touch of uh, Payne's gray. So just, just a touch and it just made this like light, light bluish gray color. My uh, colors today, so I did mix up and this is one of the new prism pours, I think. This one is waterfalls okay so i did mix up a little of this but i felt it was just too bright so i did and there's you know the instructions on the back i did mix in a little flow trawl and actually it needs probably a little bit more water but i just got this like lighter blue color and it probably doesn't i would say that it probably dilutes the uh, mica that is in are, are in these this paint but i just wanted to give it a shot but it was it just wasn't the right color for my painting but I'm still going to try it and I'm just going to use a little bit of that, you know, put it in, probably swipe it in. This one is a, like a lake blue. A lot of these colors I already had mixed up. I just kind of tweaked them a little bit. So that's just like a lake blue. This one is um, golden uh, cobalt turquoise and mixed in, there's one that I mixed in. I, oh yeah, that's the, um, that's phthalo turquoise by golden. I don't even have, it. it's up there. Um, but this is the cobalt turquoise, which I added, oh, I added a little dragon fire. Do I have it? Let me see. Yeah. Dragon flash to this. And that's by, um, color shift by uh, folk art. So it kind of gave it a little, yeah. Shimmer. I have Payne's gray by golden. Then I have some, I have two primary elements that I mixed up and I mixed them the same way as the rest of my paints. I did use the polypour and this comes with when you get a set from 
um, color art. They usually come with the polypore and an enamel um, tintable base, so that's cool. Um, so I did use that, and I also used my Floetrol and my water and um, all the other things. So pretty color. So this was the one color is that's wrong. This one. This one is Arabian Sea. That's just like a light turquoise. It's pretty. If you can see the okay and then the next one is butterfly wing oh and this is like one of my favorites Let me see that all right so that's two primary elements then I have some modern masters blue flash and I have some modern masters rose this is one of my um, favorite colors to use um, and then I have a little Modern Masters. Uh, this is Gold Rush. Okay, so there. This is my color palette. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna look really pretty. Um, I'm probably gonna use a lot, um, do a lot of work with the palette knife. So this video might be a little long. I will speed it up. But if you have any questions, leave me a comment. And uh, yeah, really excited about getting back to painting. <laughs> All right. Here we go guys, I'm gonna set my table up and get my canvas down. I gotta tape the back of my canvas, put some push pins in it, and we're all ready to go. Oh, the other thing I'm gonna use is the GAC mixture that um, Sarah Taylor uses, and that's what I used in the other painting, so I'm gonna use some of that. And this I just kinda of swipe in a little bit. It's kinda of like when she uses the cloud over mixture, but I'm not using the cloud over, I'm just gonna use this mixture. This is just a whole lot of GAC, uh, a little satin enamel, and uh, you know, uh, artist loft white paint. That's all it is. All right, here we go.
lost, but I'm still on the ground. It's a dizzying day. I would give love to get away. It's getting real dark in here. Feels like I've been here a thousand.
Yeah. 